All right, everybody, welcome back to another Janie Eclectics video. Thanks for joining us on our channel. I'm JC, and today we're going to be talking about where our t shirt business, where our custom apparel business is today. So, we did establish this business in quarantine over a year ago, and we're going to talk about the equipment that we've got. You've seen in some other videos, and where we're at, and what our goals are moving forward. So, stay tuned. But before we start, I want to remind you about the giveaway we're doing with our partner. Ray is the entrepreneur for that sweet Cameo 4. If you haven't seen that video, check the description. We're also almost ready to draw a name out of the hat, so to speak, for the winner for our custom leather patch hat as well. Stay tuned for the whole video. All right, so let's talk about business, right? The almighty greenback, the dollar. That's why everybody's here. That's what we're really doing, right? All the hustling, all those entrepreneurs out there, it's really ultimately about, can I get to that dollar bill? How can I make money? And you absolutely can make money printing custom shirts, making hats, making all these different things for different companies and different people, different events. So let's talk about where j and &E Eclectic is at about a year after our inception, a year after we started. So we did start from the ground up in quarantine. You've seen the machines that we've got in our print shop. And you've seen kind of how we've already expanded from just the print shop to our studio here. I did have one of you reach out to me the other day and tell me it doesn't look good having the lights string or the cables to my lights here. Um, if you want to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe so we can beat that algorithm and maybe monetize the channel so I can afford some uh, cable hiders, then that's how we'll get to that taken care of. So thanks for that call out. You're absolutely right. Um, but this, the studio is not completely finished, so that'll actually bring us into where we're going with our goals. So our business now, our next major goal is getting to where we're printing 80 shirts a day. Whether that's 80 shirts for one person every single day or 80 individual shirts, it doesn't really matter from our goal standpoint, but monetarily it does. I've mentioned before, bulk orders are great and you do make a profit off bulk orders and they're really good for the customer because the customer gets a price cut. However, those single shirt orders are where that profit margin really lies for you, the business owner. So if you wanna make the most money and maximize your profits, those single shirt orders or lower quantity orders have bigger profit margins. So for us, we know if we wanna buy our second DTG printer or next bigger purchase for the t-shirts at least, we wanna be hitting about 80 shirts a day. So you may or may not know this, I don't know if we mentioned it before, we typically only like to run our print shop four days a week, but we try to kill it those four days. Maybe we're working 10 hours a day those four days. So the way we've broken it down is, if we work four days a week and knock out 80 shirts each of those days, we could basically take the weekends off. Because aside from Saturday, you can't really ship anything on Sunday anyway. Now if we do get last minute orders like Saturday evening, we'll turn everything on, we'll hop in the print shop and we'll knock it all out. That's the benefit of working from home. So what does it mean if we hit that goal, that first goal of 80 shirts a day? Well, we've actually broken it down. So 80 shirts a day, if they're single order shirts, actually breaks down to our rough profit there of about $1,600 a day. So what you're looking at there, 1,600 times four or 6,400, um, that'd be $6,400 of profit every month. Why does that number matter to us? If you multiply that number by four or four months later, you're basically telling yourself you've paid 25,000 and about $600 or roughly the cost of another Omniprint uh, FreeJet 330 TX Plus. So we know if we're hitting 80 shirts a day for four days a week minimum, we can afford to completely pay off a brand new DTG machine at $25,000 in the first four months, just from the profit we're already making. Now having two printers, we're gonna be able to get that same 80 shirts a day done in probably half the time because we have two printers, right? Or we'll be able to take those 80 shirt a day orders to 160 shirts a day. So think about that. Now we're doubling again from 6,400 bucks a month to $12,800 straight profit every month. And if you run that math, you're looking around $150,000 a year just making t-shirts with two printers. So that's the first immediate goal I would say. However, that's only one machine we have. So we're already making right now about 50, I would say 40 to 55 shirts a day 
three, sometimes four days a week. So we're not at full capacity for that one printer. So we've basically built the business out so where we know when we need a second printer and when we need to hire somebody else to come into the shop and help us out. So basically the two of us can handle 80 shirts a day, no problem. But we know that at 80 shirts a day for those four days, it'll pay for the printer. Now we jump over to our embroidery machine. The embroidery machine can be making shirts as well, either embroidering sleeves or chest logos or hats, which we're getting a ton of hat orders coming in. And also we've got a third machine. We've got our Hotronics 360 IQ hat press. And that's how we made these awesome leather patch hats and how we're gonna be doing some other things in the future. You're gonna see some of that as well. Off of those three machines, there's different goals for each of those machines. The embroidery machine, we already doubled, right? So instead of buying a machine with one print head or one embroidery head, we bought the MT1502 from Recoma already with growth in mind, wanting to be able to do two hats at a time to cut down production time. So the next step would be either buy another one of those or Recoma actually came out with the first ever three head machine with 20 needles, which is awesome. And the price is right about what we actually had paid for our two head machine. So that would be one of the next things we look at as our embroidery workload starts to get overwhelming. It's not quite there yet, which is why we bought that machine so that we could grow with it, right? The hat press. The hat press is actually helping us do neck tags, custom sleeve prints. We even knocked out some chest prints. It's doing so much more than actually just being a hat press. Plus, it makes pretty awesome hats. Our next goal outside of how many shirts we wanna make and growing with the embroidery machine is actually what next piece of machinery do we want? And this is where Esley and I kind of go back and forth. In my head, I definitely want to go with a wide format printer, something like the Roland, a 54 inch print size. And Esley said, if you're going to go with a big, large printer, why not go UV printer? So the thing is, my printer I'm looking at is about $20,000. The UV printer that Esley's looking at is about $55,000. And he would chime in right there and say, on eBay, and that's because you have to call to actually get a, a current price quote. However, there's so many different things you could do with UV printing. So the next piece of machinery that I think we should get outside of a printer is a bigger laser cutter. So right now, the laser cutter we have can only cut certain materials at certain thicknesses, and it's a little bit limited by how many we can do at a time. However, if we want to do anything more than say 50 patches at a time, we're going to need a bigger machine. And a bigger machine means we could cut more materials, which means more offerings to our customers. Because one thing that we like to do here is we don't say no. The customer comes in and says, can you make this? We say yes, and then we figure it out. All right guys, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the tips and seeing where we're planning to go on our journey. Thank you for being here. If you wanna follow us on this journey and see how it goes, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you're sticking around for those giveaways, like the one we're doing with Reyes for that Cameo 4, check the link down below, and the ones we're doing for the hat. All right, and the last goal, our final goal, a bonus goal for sticking around this long is actually you guys. We wanna be able to give more back to you, to the community that's actually sticking with us and following us on this journey. So if you're following us like you are, thank you so much for the love. Stick around, because we wanna be able to give even more back. We're already talking about ideas when we hit 500 subscribers and 1,000 subscribers and so on, and it's only gonna get better. If you want some custom shirts like the awesome one I'm wearing or cool hats, hit us up on Instagram at je underscore eclectics or on our website, jeeclectics.com or right here in the comments below. See you in the next one.